கைகளை <laughs> 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 அன்பு மகளுடைய கண்களில் வழியும் கண்ணீரை பாருங்கள் எனக்கு <laughs> 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 I greet and welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ who is and who is to come. So today let's take 1 John 2 15:16 it says that 1 John 2 15:16 Do not love the world or the things in the world if anyone loves the world the love of the father is not in him love of the father is not in him for all that in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and pride of life is not of the father but it is of the world so here john says that if you have the love of the world if you have a lust over the world and the love of the father is not in you so god is saying that if you have any one other thing inside your heart if you love any other thing i don't love you and you don't love me just say him just, that for a name sake lord i love you that's it but we don't have a nim heart because when world is there inside you when other flesh or the lust of the world is inside you inside your heart it just stops you it just pretend it, it makes a shield over you as not to go with god it makes a big wall as great china at the great wall of china it makes a great wall in front of you and not leave and not love you to go with god walk with god and talk with god so here john says there should not love the world or the lust of the world be everyone know that the world and the things are not from god it is from satan so when you take satan with you do you think that god will be with you never you can be rich but without god what are you we are nothing the blessing that comes from the god which stable in your life and no one can pluck from you and no one can take over it. so apostle paul wrote to timothy and said instruct those that are rich in the world goods are not to be proud So here in 1 Timothy 6:17 it says that rich in the world is not to be a proud it just to live in the world even your business even if you're great in posting in government or any other thing job it's not to be just proud money is just for living and the words which you use in the earth which you do in this world is a only thing for the gate for the entry of the heaven it's a key to enter money is not just a key it's just a food to eat and the word of god is a key for your life so here in john first john 2 15 16 god saying that the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life not of the father but it is of the world so we know that when we get rich when we get a good posting we will be having everyone will be having a proud in our heart in our eyes we will be seeing they are down we are up but god is saying that in front of me 
if god is your king if god is your father if you are his sons even poor and even who's rich are same in his eyes god died for everyone even for sinners blood and holy holy ones blood and he died for poor and for rich and needed person and he died for anyone everyone in the world he didn't show any prestige issue there was no prestige issue for him to die for anyone he didn't think why should i die for poor or why should i die for rich what he didn't think that he thought everyone are my people and i made them and i created them in my in my structure so lord told that everyone are equal even who is in other nation they are equal even who is not christian they are equal so here i come to say that do not fix your hope over the money or the lust of the world money is just used to buy something if you need to get it it will be useful for everything even for god's work and even for worldly work but the thing you have to do is you must use it in the way how you should it must be used only for you and god not for others so here i come to say that do not put your hope do not put your trust do not put your love over the money and the lust over the world so god is saying to fix your hope on me fix your hope on the lord jesus christ who came to the earth to redeem you so lord father told that without me no one can enter the heaven and here it says that to put your hope on the savior we know that our savior died for us our savior came to the earth for us and our savior gave the commandment to follow in this world so he told that if i am your father and you are my son and father sent his only begotten son to die for us why is there a hell writing for father to bring to send his son to the earth to die for us never he had a love over us and that love was not the love which we show to the world that love is different from everything it's a purest love that no one had in the world do you ever thought a king must go back to a poor do you ever thought he will he go back to them will he go if poor say i am going out of the country or i am going out of this place will the king go and just beg him don't go please but our father in heaven who is king of the whole universe is begging you not to get out of this world not to get out of this word of god he had only one thing and god instruct us only one thing to do to enter as food into heaven so he gave this commandments to follow to enter us into heaven we need to enter the heaven because we are his people we are his nation and we are his only begotten sons and daughters and we are his assembly so when we are together to god he just accepts you and he doesn't reject you and god have told in matthew 6 838 seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you so when you seek the god's heaven when you seek god first and when you seek his work his word first everything the lust even the lust of the earth even the lust of the world will be given to you money rich proud or you need any great posting in the world it will be he told that one who saves me i will make him to sit with the judges with the kings so you have to serve the lord god first and that is the only thing you can be proud and rich money is just to buy something and money is just to be live in the world but money can't take us to heaven do you everyone thought why god allowed a tragedy in your life why god allowed a trouble a desert in your life 
we never thought we just blame God I was doing his work but he gave me this he gave me his desert he made me to beg everyone he took me towards tragedy and my body is full of tragedy so here God is saying that the tragedy is not to make you to fail he is saying and he is giving you a preparation to go to heaven when your body is being crusted or when it is been shooted with anyone or anything even the troubles desert may make you thirst but the water you can't get it because God is training you and training you training you to enter heaven so we know our body is going to be a flesh and go to a sand which God created so Lord God told that do not love the lust even this flesh is a lust and God told do not love it and here God told the tragedy that I make it to come in your life it's not to make you to go away from me it's you only way how can I take you with me so God told and God just saying only one thing we know that when a trouble comes when a tragedy comes in your life we just go to God and we pray we may fast for a few days or we will be having some decision till you do this I won't leave this I mean not the sin I'm I'm not considering the sin that I won't leave if you do this good thing for me and I will do you this God we will have something like that and until you do for me and I won't leave you and I won't leave without praying you I mean, I won't live without doing anything that's the only thing God wants from you and he don't need that when trouble just trouble comes you to see God he needs every day even Daniel prayed for three times David prayed for three times Lord God prayed for a lot of times why because they don't need to be in a relation with the world instead of the world he they need to be relation towards the house where they go the house of the Lord the father the heaven they need to have the relation with them and that's why they were being in a connection David had three times in connection with God Daniel had two times in connection with God why it's not just to save them in their troubles it's the only thing God needs us to do not to seek him when trouble comes when trouble comes seek him and when trouble goes just go back of rich people he didn't say that he told every time even you succeed in your life even if you get blessing from from the world from a God give thanks to God and there is a song give thanks to the Holy One give thanks to the beautiful we know a lot God is beautiful because he took a victory over the death no one was beautiful as God I mean not I'm saying the structure of God I see his spiritual life beautiful he attempt he had tested by devil for 40 days if we are tested if we have that power if we have a power to make a rock as a bread if he comes and say if you are a son of God make this rock into bread we think how dare you can say that I am not a son of God and we will make it and we will eat and that I am a relation between God and the father to be cut off we need to think what to do at what time and we need to do at the correct time so God told us to follow everything and do not love the world the lust of the world and it is only good thing because you can enter heaven it's a key to enter heaven don't love the lust you're great you can be power you can be proud and you can be rich as no one may god bless you and let's follow the bible verse amen